Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Nora Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iMovie series and as you guys can see I am running on the new version that just came out which was today, um, iMovie version 10.0.1 which is just small fixes, adjustments of fixing like the, well, if you're just now transferring over from your old iMovie layout to your the new iMovie setup, it like uh, fixes a few bugs regarding like the transfer when you're transferring the your previous old clips to your the new iMovie layout it basically it's a more easier and more uh, smoother transition and uh, I did have errors in that when I did that myself so I'm glad they actually fixed that now and uh, in addition it also fixed uh, so you can actually run iMovie the new version of iMovie on older uh, video cards on older computers so yeah, let's begin the tutorial today we're gonna be covering I'm gonna open up iMovie and I'm gonna exit the version but today we're gonna be covering volume guys audio and I showed you guys some audio um, easy audio uh, adjustments and edits is right on the video itself um, you can go there's a little button line here you can adjust how loud you want the volume to be 400% is very loud 0% is mute and uh, now your this is here is the fade in fade out feature this is this is gonna be fade in of the volume so it gets louder and then right here the volume gets lower so what I want to do is we're going to go straight into adjustments select the clip and we're going to go into volume now here this is auto which will you'll notice right here it auto balances the audio okay if you notice the audio at the moment it's uh, really everywhere now let's hit auto and we'll auto adjust it that way it makes it louder sort of it basically equalizes the 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 what do you call it the, vo <laughs> the volume sorry I lost the track what I was trying to say but basically makes it equal and uh, your entire clip will sound uh, equal at equal volume as long as you keep but sometimes honestly you don't even need this feature because how often do you ever record something and all of a sudden some loud something loud un unexpected happens in the video that you didn't want to record and it just completely destroyed your audio but other than that uh, let's go on this is gonna be your mute function function and like I said <laughs> mute function like I said you can simply just to mute the clip you could actually just simply drag and drag this to what audio you want which is but you can also do this feature by hitting mute now also if you want um, this is to specifically adjust how how you want how high you want this volume if you notice here it shows uh, the percentages right here and let's say you want it to get it to a certain number exactly he can you can either do it this way or if you want to be more precise you can drag this one here you can notice that this audio here is changing as I as adjust this and uh, yeah you can get it even more precise right here but I'm gonna keep it at zero so I don't interrupt myself then this is here is another awesome feature uh, before I cover it this is the undo button like let's say you made an error you wanna just hit that undo button and it will go back or you can hit always command Z which will also undo for you which is a shortcut key and then um this here lower volume of other clips it's pretty self-explanatory but the way it works is let's say you have a picture-in-picture picture and you have this video or you have a uh, audio and uh, like let's say you have music in the background you select this clip lower volume of other clips meaning that this audio will be heard better than the additional clips you have may have like a picture-in-picture picture-in-picture picture will be really low volume and this will be actually the one the main volume let's say you have a music and it's uh, playing and then you want this to be um your main volume just hit the lower volume of other clips and it will actually lower volume of your music picture in picture or additional footage that you may have playing during this original footage and uh, during your main footage basically and it will keep this around the same which should basically that it's really good I use it once in a while but sometimes I like to adjust it myself and make it sound the way I want it but this will actually do it for you if you're looking for a simple ending you can adjust like how how much you want it to the lower the volume and how you want to adjust it here as well and this is a really good feature it comes in handy but on that I'm gonna hit that undo button and then lower this volume back down and there you are that's a volume you guys for iMovie 10.0.1